Hey, 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 hey. Come in. What are you doing? What do you mean what I'm doing? I am serving you. I want to spoil you, to take care of your every need, your stomach needs, your every need, my dear. Come in. Relax. Let me spoil you. But you have served me just one hour ago. One hour ago. Please, please, enough. Come in. I can only have enough chapatis. What do you mean? I mean, my stomach is too small to have extra chapatis. Whatever I have is enough. Please. Oh, Zaka. So you don't like my chapatis? I can't have I prepare this breakfast for you to take care of your every need. So th this means that you don't like even my chapatis and chai. Come on, that, that is not what I said. I earned you. Clearly, I earned you. You think I'm blind? Then you had me wrong. Then you say it. You like my chapatis. My kamene, my kindwa, my yoni li kamene. I like your chavos. Yes, your chapatis are um. Uh, they're cool. They're cool. Uh, I'll be Yeah, uh, but I think next time you should add some little bit of salt. Oh, so you are meaning I don't know how to cook, Zio? Come in, of course you know how to cook, and you'll definitely get better. Uh, by the way, can I have some few of those chapatis? By the way, I just knew you are just playing with me. Those, you know, your small games. You are just pretending you don't like it. By the way, my dear, mm. can you believe how much we can be saving if I'll be waking up very early, I make our breakfast and our lunch. When we are coming to school, we will just carry. You mean you are planning to be carrying these things to school every day? Yes! This way, we will not be wasting money buying food here and buying food there. It will be even cheaper. Mm, let me tell you the truth. I don't have any problem spending some few coins on buying some really tasty food. So you don't need to bother. Don't worry. I'm actually what you need. I'm a good cooker. I know how to cook. So we will be doing this. Kwanza, once I move in, things will be easier. Hi. Moving in? What do you mean moving in? We have not settled on that yet. We don't need to settle. I am officially your girlfriend. You are one and only Kenduaku Kamene. So, once we move in, Actually, do you know why I have not moved in? It is because, because I already paid this month's rent. Now leaving that house empty, it will be wasted. Once in this month is come that year. Me, me, yo, Kasakayo, coming back home. Uh, that, that will be a very great move, eh? Yes, uh, let us wait until it happens. <laughs> Kamene, eh? you know, remind me of the good old days when you used to spoil me with rough. Eh? What do you mean? Good old times when I used to spoil you. Sizia, Sizia, keep on dreaming, move forward. Uh, Sizia, uh, there's some tea here for you and Vara. Uh, maybe you. Uh, with them, Sakayo. Sakayo, who has given you the permission to give out our tea? Excuse you, Ati our tea. What is Sakayo? When is this a new business? Kamene. When you want to take all that tea alone, see we just here. Where did you people buy these horrible jabatis? You guys should ask for a refund. Hmm? This tea is tasteless. It has no sugar. Hmm? I can even smell it milk in it. I love this chapati. Niunga to see the condition a match. Where is this base? Are you sure this is not a barank? Guys, guys, guys. If you don't like my cooking, you don't like my chapati and chai, please return them. Hey guys, it is Kamene here who prepared the chapatis. <laughs> <laughs> my dear Kamene, you should enroll yourself in a gathering school. At least you will get these small things fixed instead of sumbuaring this young man here. And you? Why didn't you not tell me? But I thought you knew. Me want to take these chapatis. Hata kama ni konanja ache. Of a tiny pie filled with some man and you could chinese a ten pop. Now the tea is bad, and a while back you used to like it. Even our mother's fed us crickets when we were young. That does not mean I can eat crickets now. Times have changed. We have a fault, my dear. Hmm? Maybe you should try being spontaneous. You people, why are you complicating things for her? You should just tell her the truth. Naya Kamene, you are a very horrible and bad cook. But in Namshi Baroblema, you can just improve this thing. Father, thank you for your honesty. At least you are not like in this Kenonga here.
Why would I write to you, Michelle? Why? It is because your facts keep on changing. Why am I doubting you? Ngalo, if I were you, I wouldn't last my own instincts. Things within this one never ends well. Oh, can you mind your own business? Hmm? Uh, uh, Michelle, look, eh? I am an open book. Even I remember me taking notes uh, uh, in the previous meeting. What? I me? even didn't. Yes, I did, I did. Look, here it is. Farah, now. Are you seeing what I'm seeing, eh? This is a ticking time bomb. I, I know Kanyanjui is a thief, but myself, I, I decided not to charge. You know, Kanyanjui is predictable. It's just a matter of time. You two ladies, I can hear you. Hmm? Can you let me be? Hmm? Mind your own businesses. Michel, I told you this is not a good idea to deal with these issues in class. Okay, here. There's four lorries of sand, yes. 20 bags of cement, 26 yes. pieces of iron sheet, yes. aggregates, uh, what? What are these? Uh, uh, these are cocotos. <laughs> okay, cocotos. Yeah. You are also supposed to avail the stone cutting machine. Ah, so you know me, Miss Nagati. Just tell me when you want it. You keep postponing these things. Really? I'm relying on someone else's finances. I thought you told me this Mr. Bentley was to arrive in Kenya yesterday. Yes, he did. Aye, but then why are you undecided? Kwani is not availing the money. You know what? I couldn't rush him at the airport with the plan. So I decided he should rest and then today we'll have a relaxed meeting. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. As you wish, my sister. Just to know that everything is going as we planned. <laughs> what are you guys cooking over there? Uh, definitely not Kamenis Chapos. You remember the renovation at the children's center? Yes, but I think you said it will be auctioned by next year. Well, no, because the donors were excited and they are coming to supervise the whole process. Where does Kinanzui come in here now? He's just providing us with the building materials. The king has arrived. Vacate the mansour. <laughs> I was like, Kinanzui, you lucky son of Terand. How did you know Michel has such a sweet deal? You know, it might sound so funny, but it was Kinyanjui's idea. You mean it is this Dokon Kinyanjui's ideas to renovate the school center? He told me that we can go online and search for international donors. And we went and tried, even though we knew we might not get it. If you want something so bad, the universe brings it to you. <laughs> in as much as I did the search, I feel like I should include Kinyanjui in this deal, because he's the one who urged me to try it. I'd be very careful if I were you. Your kind of naivety only looks good on paper. Meaning? You cannot trust anyone these days. <laughs> uh, Michel, I suggest we keep our days to ourselves. Eh? The hatred that is in this class will kill us before even we commence the actual job. By this, you come to the meeting with me in the evening. At least when Bentley speaks with you, he'll have the readiness feeling. Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? Eh, those muzugus don't understand what I usually say. <laughs> I thought you have been here long enough to know who to trust. I did. Sounds like you want your foot on this deal. It would make sense. But the offer is not on the table. Michelle, if you ever want to pitch ideas to the white folks, you need to be eloquent. And that I have in plenty. It's not as simple, Atito. Good things never are. Hmm? With me, what you see is what you get. No cutting corners. No grey areas, but I can't say the same of the path you are about to settle on. Adito, I have never seen you this interested in anyone's project in this class until now. Atawewe. This is because he knows these guys are going to eat it a big spoon. I can do big spoons as long as it is honest money. Eh, uh, what I can say, eh? All the best with your wish hunt, Adito. Uh, by the way, comrades, any updates on Maalimu's whereabouts? Kinyanjui was the last one seen with him. You know, I tried calling him, but his phone was switched off. You know, I'm just wondering, like, why go into hiding if you're innocent? You know, running only makes you look guilty. Huh? Or maybe he is. Of course, only you would have thought that of our teacher. That clown could have skinned him alive. I'm glad he bought your kind of hey, Kinyanjui, hmm? any updates on Maalimu's whereabouts? You're a his caretaker. Has he gone to see him in his house? Why would you hide yourself in your own house? The way you keep on locking, locking doors. If you lock it down, see, it is possible. My sister, 
I think you should review the real definition of going into hiding. Usually means that uh, new prince, new cell phones, new girlfriends, and a new everything. It sounds like you're speaking from experience. I just hope he's fine. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How can he alive when he is in the hiding? Oh, hey, ay, 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 that's also mean their thing. Oh, poor Morimo. Speaking of which, Solomon, did Lucy find out what happened? What happened where? Ah, uh, yeah, same with the case last week. You were so tense the last time I saw you. I uh, noted, if that were the case, I don't think I would still have this job. I hope you have acted responsibly today. I had to leave them at a friend's place before I came to school. I know that they are safe today. <laughs> what now? <laughs> Yo, 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 Vado. Eh, ni, 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 Lucy said you are a kuti nani. Well, I think all they needed is a father finger around them, eh? You know, being boys and all. See, I thought this Lucy chick was in her forties. No, 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 no. Late thirties. Guys, can you imagine, eh? The other day, Mbembe Benitos called me Mamba and did not imagine. So I did not respond. Then I heard Nandi. <laughs> Wait, what? Yes, exactly my response. I said, what? <laughs> I really pity that young man, because if this is a role model, then I'd rather have an asteroid hit planet Earth already. Why? But he's a man totally capable of fathering a kid. No one said he couldn't. We are just saying he doesn't look like he'll make a good one. Uh, unfortunately, I can. Eh? Those kids think that I'll make a great dandy, uh, except Trevor. Trevor is the second last point. Yes, you know, he asked me why my chest is not like his mom's. <laughs> Solomon, you see you are long guy. Clearly he's still young to differentiate. Uh, what did you say? I told the Ritrum boy that it is because I do so much exercise. How about telling the poor boy the truth? He'll soon find out and it's not like it's a bad thing. Ah, no, 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 no. I don't think he was ready for the truth. Why, why do you say so? Because after I told him that I exercise a lot, he told me that he will never exercise because when he grows up, he wants to have a big chest just like his mommy. Oh my, that is really funny. You know, sometimes he freaks me out too. He steals his mommy's lipstick and powder. And you let him? Of course not. You know, I tried talking to him, but I secretly think that something is wrong with him. That is a strange character, Kwan. Have you told his mom? Well, do I even begin, Murume? Eh? If the mom is not drunk at home, she's out there partying. I even doubt she even knows. Uh, but I think you have to be very, extremely, very careful on how you handle such things. Very right. They can quickly backfire on you. Speaking of which, I have a dilemma that I would like you to help me solve. Hmm. Uh, comrade, uh, the lesson is almost over and we have learned absolutely nothing. And what do you expect us to do? Our mom is not here. And is that your excuse for not learning? We are just telling stories here. That is not right. Farah, if you feel you are in the wrong place, kindly, the door is there. Leave! Uh, just, just leave him. Uh, so, so, Julia, you end on dilemma. Oh, yes. Eh? Uh, you know, lately, I've decided to be a spiritual person. I've even started going to church. You started going to church? After all that has happened in the recent past, mm. sea of floods, Mara swans of locusts, so you have viruses, I have decided to change my life. What are you talking about? Wonders. You know following Christ. Deciding on it. Hmm? Now to my dilemma. You know, I recently joined this church, a good church, and even got to make friends with the pastor's daughter. You are that lucky. You know, for me, making friends does not come that easy. So now, the awkwardness came when one of the senior pastors decided to become too close to one of our friends. I see where this is headed, eh? Pastor Nachunga Kondoyake Fisuri. So I realized something was fizzy between them mm -hmm. because this pastor will always have morning meetings with the lady. And to make the situation worse, mm. this lady did not even hold any service post. 
I, maybe you are digging that for nothing. You women do that a lot. Kinyanjui, a woman's sixth sense is always right to better listen to it. So I decided to confront her about the issue one month ago. Then she was behaving cagey. She did not want to tell anything. Two weeks later, she was appointed the church asa. I always love the way the ushers dress and smile every time you are entering in the church. You know, it is like these people, they don't go to do tlayos and tlayimulation, like in the last of us. But Mori, I don't get your confusion. Let me tell you, after that, mm. the meetings became more frequent, mm. even during the weekdays. So, uh, last week I decided to go for a personal prayer and accidentally saw something I saw it. Eh. And what was that? This friend of mine was coming out of the pastor's office mm. and everything about her dress code, her walking style, everything about the situation did not seem right to me. It did not seem right to me. Unfortunately, mm. the pastor saw that what I saw was not right. Eh? Mm. What I should have not seen. Mm. So he has decided to invite me for a prayer retreat. Hey, Julia, but I thought you wanted to be spiritual. What's the fuss all about? Can't you see how tricky this situation is? Very tricky. You know, the pastor's daughter is my very good friend. Now I am wondering whether to tell her what her father is doing with one of our friends or mind my own business. First thing first, that guy should not be even called a pastor. Julia, why can't you tell in the pastor's wife? We are not close like that. Plus, I feel I'll be betraying one of my good friends. Are they your friend? You call that a friend, eh? Someone who is fellowshipping, prayer patterning with your friends done. The pastor, I, I, upon Ngori, eh? You know they say, show me your friends and I will tell what type of a person you are. I know my friend is a good person. Mm. I even confronted her last week. After a long period of advice, mm. she tells me that she's in love. Now my dilemma is this. Mm. Do I leave the church because the pastor has failed or do I tell on my friend? Either way, you lose something. Funny thing, pastors are like everyone else. They fall into temptations. And you know what? Who are we to crucify them? Whatever your friend is doing is not right. And you entertaining her make you as guilty. Birds of the same feather jump together. And this is why I personally do not go to church anymore. Tell me about it. The craziness that's going out here in the name of pastors and faith is just overwhelming. Kwanja, there is this viral video of this pastor who was punching onto pregnant woman's stomach in the name of tracing out his spirit. Adichau, that is daylight killing money. What was this woman even thinking? Punching his stomach and it has baby inside. Kwanja, did the baby survive? I have no idea. Shashes have become sources of business nowadays, so for me, I just pray for myself at home. Eh, at your home? Kenyanjui, I thought you wanted to open one. You know, everyone has a side that you may not know. That is why I decided to go very slow on chatting people. Guys, mm. so what do I do? Me would say, mind your own business. Unless you can prove your suspicions, then open your mouth. This topic is too gullies. What do you expect us to tell you? I'd say you give your friend an ultimatum to come clean. And as for the retreat, just don't go. I really wonder what this young girl seen in such old men. Clearly you need spectacles. Well, black sap, we don't to talk to Zaka like that. Is it my fault he's that daft? Now yeah, you have taken the sponsor thing too personal. Are you guilty of something? Oh, and you really want to know that? You think I don't know the plans you have with my dad? Farah. What is she talking about? Your friend here was secretly hired by my dad to be spying on me while in school. He records everything I do, and in exchange, he has some pocket change on him and his school fees paid. No wonder Farah has become a bookworm lately. Uh, she cannot borrow what she's saying. Rather, you have been too nice to be an average Farah. I hope you will not be brainwashed in this process. So Farah, I don't want you to lack something to report back, okay? Um, Zakayo. My response to you is, I'd prefer an older guy any time. Uh, by the way, you remind me of Chuan. Eh? Beauty pillar brains. Pure kapisa. These men are really true and honest. No behind the curtain kind of love. So long as they're in their comfort zone, they can spoil your rotten. Interesting. Now let me ask you, how hand all is it can it be to move in with this man? See, that's the first step. So they'll rent you a house, which you'll rarely use because you'll be in vacations pretty much most of the time. He's spoken just like an experienced professional called Titika. 
You know these young men, they'll be getting in jealousy and angry whenever they see us dating older guys. But they don't know how to treat us light the mm -hmm. way you should treat a little woman. What are you talking about? Maybe other people will start giving me attention that I deserve. Hey, what's up? Ay, 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 Hmm. Hmm. Sakayo, do you want to go home? You just go, I will catch up later. When you guys are headed the same direction. Um. <laughs> come in, come in. You just go, uh, we'll, we'll meet tomorrow. Okay, uh, I'll uh, see you tomorrow. I love you. Hmm. Don't take him breakfast. There will be news of Madoma and Uji. <laughs> Kinanjui? Yes. I think we better go prepare for the meeting. Hey, what preparation do I need? See, we are good to go. Let's go. Dress like that? Hello? Go freshen up and dress up. Kwa kwa kuna madi. It's okay, let's just go. Teacher, I thought we had agreed to keep your phone off. The class was okay. The rest of the students do not know where you are. No worries. You stay safe. And please, keep your phone off. <laughs>